everybody, welcome back to Day Air Ballpark. We're down here on the field today with James Marinan. James, thanks for taking a trip around the horn with us. Problem. Good to see you. No problem, do it anytime. All right, let's take a walk here. So you have a couple of really interesting story angles, I think. The first one is getting into pro ball. You were actually one of these guys that was drafted right out of high school. Correct. So you're 18 year old kid, you signed your pro contract, that's all fine and dandy, but now you have to leave and the first time you're away from home, is as a professional baseball player, what what was that like, right? What, what were some of the interesting things that you came across? Uh, well, the first thing was first, like I didn't realize how long I'd be gone for. Uh, <laughs> wow, I think I got drafted. What's the draft? I think the draft was in June that year. I didn't yeah. get home till almost October that year. Okay. Um, so I was, I got drafted. I left literally like a week later, and I didn't come back till October. So it was definitely uh, being hard for the first time being away from family for that long and especially at such a young age you're not really like used to just being like hey you got to go for yeah. for six months and uh, we'll see you when you when we see you probably your first time in an apartment first time what doing laundry maybe huh <laughs> no i did laundry that was one of my chores as a kid is doing laundry so okay so you were good on that front yeah that's fine <laughs> that wasn't the hard part hard part was just like just young age being away from family just trying to compete for a job all the time and yeah trying to impress all these guys and you know Prove to them why they drafted you, and go yeah. from there. So you've been in the uh, you've been in pro ball now six plus years. Is that six right? years total. Okay. This is my sixth year, correct? That's great. So you're also another interesting storyline is when Dayton made the trip from we were a low A team in our first 19 plus years to becoming a high A team. Yep. You were one of these guys that actually was with us in two different stints at two different levels. Yeah. So you were with the Dragons back in 2019 in a full season. Correct. Of course, we had the COVID year, which didn't exist, and then 2021 as a high A team spend most of the year in Daytona, but then come to Dayton at the end of the year and just light it up, right? What's yeah. it like coming back to a place like that, but knowing that you've been elevated? Uh, it, it's, I mean, I love Dayton. Um, when I was here in 19, I, I got really, uh, really had a heart for this place. Yeah. And uh, it grew on you quickly. Like the fans are amazing. The team's, team was great. Like just the atmosphere was great. Traveling to different parts of the country that you've never been to. Um, and then coming back in the end of uh, end of last year, uh, it's the same thing, you know. Just yeah. I'm the same player, just you know, was grew from experience. Yeah. And grew from time, and just knowing my body, knowing myself, and just doing what I've always been able to do. Uh, and now coming back this year, um, it's the same thing. I don't want to be in the cold. I'm, that's, <laughs> Nobody that, does. That I didn't want to come back to, but you know, it is what it is. And you know, I got to experience a snowfall for my first time in my entire life in 23 years. Oh yeah, because you're a Florida guy, right? Florida guy, born and raised. Yeah. Um, but being able to see snowfall is always fun, and that's the first time I've ever seen it. Like I've seen it prior when it's on the ground, but not right. not when it's falling. Yeah. So I was out here having a blast when that happened. Um, it's fine as long as you're not a batter, right? That, you can't imagine yeah, trying to hit a 95 mile an hour fastball in the snow. Your that's not, hands want to I ring. I guarantee that's not fun. You can ask any of the guys. They probably don't <laughs> even want to hit 95 to begin with. No. Um, but no, I mean, it's the same thing. You know, the competition is just getting better and better every yeah. year. So whether it's low A when the competition was good or it was now high A, the competition is even better. Yeah. You know, you're just get, it's getting ready for that next step into the, the double A, the triple A, and then hopefully at the end of your career in the big league. So, yeah. So, uh, it's definitely so, a different step, that's for sure. Yeah. So give us the mindset a little bit. You're a starting pitcher, right? Correct. So you're on every fifth game. What's that like when you have that kind of a rotation? Are you like a real habitual kind of guy where you like to follow the same pattern? Or are yeah. you more kind of a go with the flow sort of guy? Uh, well, this year it's a little different. We're running a six-man rotation. Okay. So it's every six days. Um, but my routine has been the same since last year when I really got myself into a good routine, figured out my body figured out the way my arm uh, recovers. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, it's just, it's the same thing. I'm always doing the same thing all the time, every week, just getting myself, my mindset right, my body right, my, make sure my arm's right, um, looking at notes prior and yeah. stuff like that. That's the biggest thing is making sure you find your routine and getting healthy and staying healthy, make sure you're eating the right things. A lot of people don't realize that, like, when you're working this hard six days, seven days a week and you're playing 140 games a year, yeah. It, you have to treat your body the way it should be treated. You gotta, you gotta take care of it. Yep. Otherwise, you're gonna get hurt. So, uh, definitely a big part of that is just making sure you're eating the right things, staying on the same routine, and talking with the medical staff or, and talking with your pitching coach, and you know, just really communicating. Yeah. And making sure that you're like on your stuff, doing your stuff, and just taking care of yourself. So speaking of recovery, right? What uh, what's life like for you when you're not here at the ballpark, right? I mean, obviously you got your pitching days, your recovery days, your work days, but when you're not here, right? When you got an off day or when 
you haven't come into the ballpark yet. What's what's life like for you outside of the stadium? Uh, shoot, it could be anything. I mean, normally I take I take like a recovery machine home for the day, uh, like an off day. Okay. Hit some of that during the night, and while I'm like either watching Netflix or playing video games or something. But um, most of my off days consider a lot of golf. Okay. Um, the typical pitching. Uh, yeah. The, the pitching off day is yeah, a, a golfer, right? So when my grandfather passed away a couple years ago. Like I really, I was into golf before, but then I just got really, really into it a lot more. So. Um, a lot of us are competitors, so we go out every Monday on our day off and go and play. And yeah. uh, things get things get intense. Who's but, the best golfer on the team? Is it you? Uh, I'd be like, maybe like second or third. Okay, so you're close. Close, but there's a couple guys that are better than me, and uh, it's always fun going out there on Monday and finding a course and competing against them. Like it's that's just what we do. We compete and we have that same mentality every day. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, hey, thanks for joining us today. Good luck Thank with you. the rest of the season. We look forward to great things from you. Appreciate it.